Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Haitian Queen Dia. If you like videos on travel, business, and lifestyle, I want you to stay tuned and keep on watching. Those who are regulars on this channel or those who are new to my channel know that I am a travel agent by Side Hustle. And so I just wanted to talk about some of the things I just recently learned about the trends for 2022. So some of the trends that we are seeing currently in the market is that we're seeing small group tours being the most popular that people are booking. Classic tour groups, which are all like 25 people or more, usually those are like the ones where they set up a location and say, hey, we have a good deal for um, this trip to such and such place and you can get that deal for like half the cost because of course it's a group trip. Um, we have fit travel. We have private groups. We also have river cruises. Now that is something that was kind of a little bit shocking to me, but that's because that's not really something that I usually book, but that's usually a targeted age group that really like river cruising and that's usually on in Europe or that happens in Europe. Um, there's also small cruises and the small cruise that I like um, that I am probably going to visit is the Bahama Paradise Cruise or they have a new one, the Margaritaville uh, Cruise that is part of the um, Bahama Paradise uh, Cruise Line. That is a small group uh, tour that people are liking. And then also like ocean cruising, which is kind of like your typical like Royal Caribbean carnival cruises that you see like to the you know to the caribbeans or to europe or whatever the case may be so those are some of the things that are really trending right now the word of the year is revenge travel why do we say revenge travel because people are taking their revenge out on them not being able to travel during this whole pandemic people are booking trips back to back I have clients that are booking, they book the cruise and they book the next one right after that. Or they're booking like three or four of them all at the same time. This is revenge travel at its best. And I love it. I love that phrase. I'm going to use it. Revenge travel. Here I come, right? What are the top three international um, places that people are going to? I want you to guess first before I say Europe is leading as usual. So Italy is number one, France and Greece are tied for number two, and last is Ireland, which I've never been to either one. I can't wait to go one day, but when I do, of course, you'll be along with me. Locally in the United States, people or travelers are actually gravitating to open wide spaces such like national parks, um, places like that, they're, um, if they're not ready to go internationally or try to take a cruise or do these group travels that we're talking about, they're loving these open spaces. So like national parks are really leading right now in local travel as far as the U.S. is concerned. Another place that people are liking to go as far as U.S. is going to be Alaska and Hawaii. I don't know about going to Alaska, but Hawaii, I'll see you there. As far as my personal clients, what I'm seeing is last minute getaways, land stays. I'm seeing um, cruises, like I was saying, back to back cruising, booking two or three um, cruises all at one time. That is what I'm seeing a trend as far as my clients are concerned. Um, people who are actually extending their stays while on vacation. I haven't had that yet with any of my clientele, but people are actually extending their stays. They're not because, of course, you know, some places if you you can't get back into the United States unless you're um, COVID-free, but some people are actually just extending their stays because they're having a good time. People are not allowing their PTO to go to waste. I'm one of those people. I'm not going to let my PTO go to waste this year. So I have some people that also, um, that are actually working remotely and using that opportunity to travel more as well. Royal Caribbean actually reported there's a 26 year old passenger that took a world cruise um, with them and is working remotely while on this world cruise. Isn't that awesome? That is goals, honey. I can't wait to get on that level. 
still working my way that way, but I can't wait to get on that level. But are there any other places that you're interested in going to for 2022 that I didn't mention in this video? And tell me what is on your bucket list? What are places that you would like to go to in 2022? Um, also, I want to mention that I do have a group tour going to Greece this year. So if you're interested in going to that place, I'll leave that information down below in the description box. But thank you guys so much for watching this channel. And I hope this information was informative for those who are maybe travel agents or those who are thinking about traveling. But please continue to subscribe, like this channel, comment down below because I love to hear from you guys. And thank you so much for watching this channel. Have a good one. Bye.